What's up, Basil Babes? It's your girl Joy back with another Basil Banger. And you already know, sis, when I'm in this closet, I got an attitude about something. Hey, it's been a while. It's been a while, so I've been doing very, very well. I have an attitude. So, it will not cost you a thing. Before I get into this video, give this video a thumbs up. It won't, it's free, okay? Just go back out, give the, hit the little thumbs up button, okay? If this is your first time tuning in into this channel, into this chaos, the channel where I turn my lemons into sweet, good, juicy lemon. Hey, sis, yes, I do. You want to hit your post notifications. You want to subscribe and do all that good stuff. So, anyway... This brings me to my topic at hand. You know something was missing. You already know from the title, something's missing. Anyway, there was a bite missing from my food. I didn't go out and get an angry whopper. They don't even sell that anymore, but they do sell a whopper with some jalapenos, which is very good. But I really have an attitude, and I said I would not mention said person anymore. I said I wouldn't. I wouldn't do it. But I have an attitude. <laughs> And then I made some chicken fingers. We had some chicken breasts and I made a special sauce. This is sauce made by me. Okay. I, I was in a lab and I put this together. It's good, sis. Yes, it is good. And my little chicken fingers. I did go live the other day and I said that you should really, you know, if you're frying something, you should put it on a cooling rack. And I did not. And the chicken is not crunchy because it doesn't have that air to circulate the cooling rack thing was in the dishwasher and I wasn't taking it out. But my sauce is, baby girl, my sauce is good. And then as I'm heating up my food to come up here to get in the closet, look what, look. I set my plate up and everything. I didn't do that. Kids did that. I, I tried to, you know, make my little presentation, a little presentation, okay? I try to have a little presentation, but my sauce is the bomb. So my kids done got to my food. I stepped away for a second. Gone. Mmm. 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 You get all the little chunks of the seasoning. Mmm. Mmm. Before, let me get a bite or two. Mm. 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 It's good. My sauce is even Bobby's like that's pretty good, Mom. She's weird. Like that, but she really enjoys the sauce. So This video's not going to be long. I promised myself it wasn't going to be long because I'm in my feelings. And I might even turn the comments off for this one. Because I know what a lot of you going to say. But just let me have my vent, okay? I'm mad, bro. I'm really upset. Mm. I'm going to eat this one. Mmm, that sauce is good. And if you're interested in know how I made the sauce, I didn't read anybody's recipe. I kind of had an idea what I was going to make. I still got a whole bunch of seasonings. And I just start putting it together, tasting, putting it together. No, I'm not trying to sell it. Mmm. And I know tomorrow's gonna taste even better. I'm like, what happened? You know, based on the title, I'm like, somebody done stole that toilet paper. Oh, I left my drink over there. Water. And based on what's going on in today's society, Toilet paper is a hot commodity. So I'm like, 
What happened to the toilet paper? Gone. A whole pack of toilet paper. I was like, mm-mm. Something's not adding up here. Where's the toilet paper? You know, any other occasion, any other time, it wouldn't have been a big deal, and I wouldn't have noticed it. But since toilet paper is hard to come by, I'm like, no. We need to, you know, keep track of this toilet paper. Because I've gone out a couple of times, even, even after Connie, you know, gave us that gift of toilet paper. I'm like, well, what do we need more? <laughs> and some of you are not as hung up over the toilet paper as other people, okay? I want to use toilet paper. So I'm like, where's our toilet paper? A whole, cause it was a box. Gone. And then Sydney, Sydney is sitting there. She was like, well, I did hear Clinton say that his friend didn't have toilet paper. So you mean to tell me my son took it upon himself to take a whole pack, not one or two rolls or two or three rolls. I would have been okay with that actually, but you should have asked me. You don't bring anything up in this house, so you don't have a right to take anything out of this house, especially something that was gifted to the family. You don't have any claims or any rights on anything. You need to ask permission, especially on something that is like a diamond in the rough at this point. Especially something that is rare to find at this point. Especially after we did a video together and went from store A to B to C to D looking for toilet paper and then had to spend $99,000 for two packs of toilet paper. So therefore, you mean to tell me you think it's okay to just go say, oh, here, I'm going to take a whole pack and give it to my friend. Once again, don't get me wrong. I'm okay with sharing the love. I'm okay. I'm okay with all that. But you ask. And you take a couple of rolls. You don't take a whole pack of rolls. So I'm just like, I can't fathom why anyone would think it's okay. Don't ask permission. To take that liquid gold, that doesn't kind of sound good, but to take that precious commodity and just say, hmm, I'm going to give this out. I'm going to give it to you, to you, to you, to you, and walk up out this house like nothing happened. Baby, I lost my mind. Okay. I, it, it, you know, we can get through this. What we're going through in society, we can get through this in another week, another two weeks, whatever. They can find a cure. They can find, um, you know, a vaccination. They can, they can do anything. But right now, we're still in a state of emergency. So anything that we get, anything that we're gifted is precious. And it's not meant for you to just say, here, I'm going to give it to Peter or Paul because... You know, whatever, they don't have it. Well, whatever. And once again, let's take it back. I'm okay with sharing. But you ask, and it's show sure enough would not have been a whole package. Take two rolls. Maybe three. But let's start out with two. And we'll check back on them in a couple of days too. But they also have to be looking for toilet paper. You know? You gotta be trying to find some toilet paper. Oh, um, you know what I'm saying? Does, does that make sense? So, needless to say, I said some, some stuff. I don't have any regrets what I said. 
Look, y'all don't even have to comment. I don't want to hear about the job. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. We already know. Okay? But I'm just venting right now because toilet paper is precious right now. And it's not, it's not meant to be given away. Because you 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 want to help somebody out. You can't even help yourself out. But now you want to help somebody else out. And you don't ask first. Guys, I'm so mad. Because I went and I was like, now I got to hide the toilet paper? I got to hide my car keys? I have to hide my iPad? I, to... I know. I know. I know. I know what you're going to say. I I know. I, ju I just can't right now. Okay? I, I, maybe I just take the comments off. My, my brain can't right now. It just can't. I'm just, I'm just so upset. At this point, it's the principal. So now I feel like I want to go out and look for some more toilet paper to try to replace the one that was taken without permission. Or, she, I don't want to say stolen. Taken without permission. So, of course, when you upset about something, then I start throwing on other things, the job, the, you know, the, everything just piles on. Now I need to lay down because I feel a headache. This is why I, 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 I don't because... It's like an instant headache, and I'm not trying to have a stroke for anybody. Th this is why I don't. I, I just can't. I just. I, I, I just can't. I'm sorry, guys. I just had to get that vent out. So, kids, if you want to share stuff with your friends, somebody's in need, talk to your parents first. Just don't take it upon yourself and think that it's okay. Maybe they have plans for that. Maybe they were going to ration out a whole pack and leave a gift on somebody's doorstep or the elderly or something. You, you, you don't know what the plan is for that. Just like if I have some meat defrosting in the refrigerator, just don't go in and cook that meat. Maybe I had a plan. Maybe I was going to do a mukbang. Just like this chicken. You know, I wanted to have my presentation of my chicken fingers that I made. I'm done. I got two pieces left. Now y'all can yeah, yeah, go for it. But just, just ask first. I don't know. Am I making sense? I don't want to hear it. I don't. I, don't. I hope y'all doing okay. I hope you're doing okay. So I will probably go out tomorrow or Monday. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. I got stuff to catch up with for school and try to look for toilet paper. We got toilet paper, but I feel as though now we're short toilet paper. <laughs> I, I'm like this day and age toilet. All right, guys. I, I know I repeated myself. I'm really not going to edit this at all. Probably not. Thank you for listening to me vent hope you understand my frustration you just don't come up in this house and you don't bring anything in this house at nothing you don't have a right to take anything out without permission without asking who do you think you are okay that's what you created that's what you allow no it's common decency it's common courtesy ma's okay even sydney she was like ma you know my friend uh, you know, he, you know, he lives by himself. I was like, well, well, Sydney, why don't you check on him? We can drop off like two rolls to him is what I said to her. Not just deliver a whole package. Cause you know, she thought, and I said, and I, a couple of days later, I said, Sydney, how's your friend doing? Did he find toilet paper? And what did she say? Yes. He found toilet paper. He went out to look for toilet paper. Now, if she said, no, he went out a couple of times. He could not find toilet paper. I was like, okay, let's drop off. The I don't know him. But she asked. She was concerned. I was concerned. But you're not going to get a whole package. One of my friends, I'll call, you know, she texted me. I was like, girl, you okay? You got toilet paper? She was like, no, we can't find any toilet paper. So she came over. She stayed literally it was so strange i was in the doorway i threw her the toilet paper and we talked six feet away <laughs> from each other for about a good 30 minutes she kept her distance i kept mine she didn't get a whole package of toilet paper she got a couple of rolls and i asked her i'm like girl you good you got toilet paper and she was like no we don't have any so you know what i'm saying 
And it was the toilet paper I got from Target. It wasn't the toilet paper I got from Connie. Ooh. All right, y'all. Bye. Give the video a thumbs up or don't. I don't even. When I go on these vents, <laughs> I just be. I just be mad, bro. I'm just be. <sighs> okay. Okay. I got it out. I got. I gotta lay down. I gotta let my nerves. I gotta lay down.